Hello everyone, Southside Stacker here, and I'm going to review the 2018 Silver Lunar Dog. The Lunar Dog is a one-ounce silver coin produced by the Singapore Mint for the Kingdom of Bhutan. This coin is part of the Happiest Coin Lunar series. Um, the series started in 2016 based on the Chinese Zodiac. Uh, we got the monkey in 2016, the rooster in 2017, and this year we get the dog. So, let's dive right in. So this is a coin that changes its obverse every year. So we're going to start with the reverse. On the reverse, we have the emblem of Bhutan, lettering around the edge that reads Kingdom of Bhutan. And on the obverse, we have the lunar dog and lettering around the edge that reads 2018, Year of the Dog. On the bottom we have the denomination, which is uh, 200 and Goldtrum, 1 ounce 999 fine silver. So let's dig into the features a little bit. So on the reverse we have the emblem of Bhutan, and I want to take a moment to read the official description. The national emblem contained in a circle is composed of a double diamond thunderbolt, known as, a, known as a dorje, placed above a lotus surmounted by a jewel and framed by two dragons. The thunderbolt represents harmony between secular and religious power. The lotus symbolizes purity. The jewel expresses sovereign power. And the two dragons, male and female, stand for the name of the country, which they proclaim with their great voice, the thunder. Uh, that's pretty epic. And the design on this obverse, or, well, this reverse, is just as epic. It's very intricate, and I think uh, before we even get into it, I think we should even we should just um, go straight to it with a magnifying glass. So we're going to be a little off center here because I'm blocking a lot of the light on the right side. Uh, but the four bulb shapes you see at the center is the diamond thunderbolt and in the center we have a dharma chakra which uh, represents the maintaining or preservation of law and order um, below we have the lotus that it sits above right there and surmounted by the jewel above so this kind of get that in focus there um, this shape above this kind of like pointed there's like a lot of a lot of jewels there. It looks like multiple jewels. Um, and then a couple of clouds right above it. The dragon. And it seems like within the uh, the dragon's clutch is a jewel as well. Really good work in the eyes, the scales, the tongue. Good all the wavy lines there. I think that's a better. There we go scale work claws it looks really good the I guess the hind claws one of them also clutches a jewel this one doesn't the tail real spiky it's kind of the same on the opposite side but I want to show it off it looks really good this is a really good intricate detail here Make sure that's in focus. Really good work. Uh, the dies are handcrafted before they strike these things. I think that's how they're able to accomplish such detail at the Singapore Mint. Look at the petals of the lotus. This is really good. So, get that in focus again. Let's talk about the elements of the coin itself it's all frosted on a mirror background so you have a um, a rim lettering and the emblem itself is all frosted on a mirror background you can tell by the reflection of my finger there the edge of the coin is reeded but it's very smooth as well Let's see if I get that there And on the obverse, we have the lunar dog, 
which also hides a lot of symbolism uh, within it as well. Same design, uh, frosted lettering and art on a mirrored background. Uh, the bottom though, with the denomination and the silver, um, is actually mirrored lettering with a frosted kind of cloud background. So one of the foremost design elements that took place here is just the cloud. So the dog itself is kind of made within a cloud. Um, it's framed within um, these Rui scepters. And of course the bottom that holds the lettering is uh, kind of cloud shaped. Um, the cloud design, or at least the theme, uh, fits with the dog. It's supposed to represent its playfulness, its uh, swiftness. Um, and I want to get in here again with the magnifying glass to talk about it. But there is a, there's flower, there's floral patterns. There's another lotus in the dog, and there's a swirl, and the Rui scepters. I'll show you exactly what those are. They're, they're kind of the, they're where the paws are supposed to be, and those scepters represent good fortune. So there's a lot of symbolism in here. Um, but let's get in there with the magnifying glass again. All right, so now we're a little up close and into the coin. This is the flower right there. Uh, the swirl is supposed to represent its uh, joyful, its jovial and playful nature, according to the Singapore Mint. We have another lotus by where the dog's ears would be. And of course, we see the eye and the nose and the mouth. Really good symbolism here. A lot of this is supposed to represent playfulness, happiness, and good fortune. Um, Bhutan is one of the uh, one of the happiest places to live, according to the United Nations. And they actually replaced their gross gross national product and adopted the gross happiness. That's how they. That's how uh, serious they take happiness in their country. So the scepters I was referring to, to the bottom left of the swirl, you kind of see those two circles connected by that one line. Um, that's supposed to be the scepter that represents good fortune. So there's one there, and there's another one right here. Um, like last time, everything is off center to the left, uh, just because there's more light there. You can see it easier. And another chakra right here above the denomination uh, maintained uh, rule and order and all that stuff and the lettering all nice stuff I'm a huge fan of the symbolism I like what everything means and I like that uh, I'm gonna try and get this in focus alright so I really like the framing around the dog as well um, it, it takes the, the cloud, the swirls, and the Rui scepters. It kind of takes all of those elements to create a, a new frame. And it's really nice. I really like how it wraps around the dog. And there are these two frosted dots on either side of the frame. I'm not sure what they stand for, uh, but I'm pretty sure they stand for something because there's a lot of symbolism. And there's no wasted design elements on this obverse or this reverse so this coin is being sold for six dollars and 99 cents above silver spot uh, which is really expensive um i don't think i would ever suggest anyone purchase a silver coin for that much but you're really getting what you pay for if you um if you do purchase this coin um this is designed very well I think I've shown you multiple times at this point. I'm not sure how many times I've talked about how much I like the design, but I love it. Um, and I rate this coin a 5 out of 5. I don't see anything that I would have changed, anything I don't like. I mean, on some level, I'm going to contradict myself right away. The mirrored background is a little warped. It's not a perfect reflection, but that doesn't bother me. Because what I like is when I look into the coin, I'm not distracted by my own reflection. Instead, I still can appreciate the subject in the middle, whether it's the emblem or the dog. So I'm not sure if that was done on purpose. I'm not sure why it was done, uh, but I really like it. I'm going to 
have the image play again in the light. Let me know how you would rate this coin uh, by selecting the eye at the top right of the screen. And um, let me know in the comments too what you think about this. Really cool. So yeah, that's the 2018 Silver Lunar Dog by the Singapore Mint for the Kingdom of Bhutan. I'm Southside Stacker, and thanks for checking it out.